doors always have to creak like that? Mm. Hey, good work, Scoob. Mm. Let's get out of here! Appeared right after I took over Vulture's Gardens. It scared everybody else off. Except for Mr. Keeble. Yes, Fred, except for Mr. Keeble. Then last week, I found this. Wow, it looks like something out of a science textbook. Or a Frankenstein movie. <laughs> this diary I found indicates that someone made a fatal error in an experiment and was changed into a praying mantis creature, like the insects he was studying. Hmm, that's odd. There's only one entry in this diary. Nothing before it, and nothing after it. The change affected his mind. That's understandable. And the man is now a wild creature preying on others. <laughs> kids. He's a real estate developer who's been trying to buy Vulture's Claw from me. And with that creature running loose, I think you'd be glad to sell, Professor Greer. Nobody's scaring me out, Diggerman. Well, just remember, I'm willing to take the land off your hands if things get too hot for you. <laughs> Actually, I don't own the property yet, so I couldn't sell it if I wanted to. The deal hasn't gone through yet, but Nickerman only wants to tear down all the gardens for a housing development or some such thing. And ruin all the natural beauty? And unnatural creatures? Well, nobody's scaring me off, but you'd all best go first thing in the morning before anything happens to you. We can't just go and leave Professor Greer at the mercy of that creature that's running loose. Sure we can. And like he said, we should. Let's get some shut-eye and talk about it in the morning. Yeah. Who can sleep with that creature running around? Right, Daphne. What do you say we do a little exploring on our own? I'm with you. <laughs> Imagine them wanting to stay here.